Stephanie, first of all, welcome home and you're moving home. Yeah, yeah, I've decided to come home. Um, it's a decision that I've been kind of working on for the last maybe year or so, trying to make sure to have stuff sorted out at home and, and things that I can fall into and I'm happy now. I think it's a decision that wasn't easy to make, but at the same time it's the best one for me right now at this stage of my life and this stage of my career. And listen to you at the press conference today, you were saying that coming home to play in the National League, that can help your international ambitions as well. Yeah, I think so. I've spoke, obviously I haven't just done this in the spur of the moment. I've spoke to Vera, I've spoke to Eileen. and I've um, made the decision based off the fact that I feel like being here and for Vera to see me as much as possible is the best thing for me right now. I think being in Italy has been difficult for, for her to come and see me play and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, being here, hopefully getting involved in the home base sessions and playing in the league week in, week out will be a better chance for, for her to see me and hopefully, as I said, she, she might bring me back in there. <laughs> now we're less, just over 100 days to the kick-off of the European Championships. Four games going to be in Dublin. The excitement is building. Yeah, yeah, obviously the biggest thing now is that Ireland get there, isn't it? Obviously can't wait for the Slovakia game and, and hopefully the game after that then they can get, get to the finals. That's the biggest thing. I think there'll be a huge buzz in Ireland with it being here anyway, but if we can get there, it'll be even bigger. So I'm really looking forward to it. And to be one of the ambassadors for the No Barriers campaign, that must give you great pride and satisfaction as well. Yeah, of course. It's a great great initiative to get kids involved. I mean, we've all faced challenges in, in our career in different stages and, and obviously to have the kids kind of in the schools being involved with the Euros in some way, it's great to have. And for you personally to be one of those 12 champions each city has nominated somebody, that must be great. Yeah, obviously it's an honour to, to read the card today and have a look at all the stuff that's on it. Obviously to be seen in that, in that way is nice, nice to see. And for young Irish girls, football now is a great opportunity. Definitely, I think, as, as we say, we've, I've overcome challenges over the years in terms of where women's football was, but if you look at now where it is and, and the opportunities that are there for young girls, it's, it's almost matching what the opportunities are for young boys. So, so hopefully a lot of girls out there now will get involved and stick at it and, and hopefully have good careers. So Mark, a very successful launch today for No Barriers, part of the Euro 2020 promotions. Tell us what No Barriers is about. Uh, um, the programme is essentially a football and social action programme uh, for delivery in schools by primary school teachers across the country. So uh, we're hoping to get them involved in Euro 2020. Uh, the excitement of bringing a major tournament to Ireland uh, this summer is fantastic and we like to get the kids involved. And uh, the way we've decided to do it with this programme is to pick uh, an icon from each of the 12 host cities uh, who've overcome barriers in their life to play football at the highest level. So uh, it's shown the children that it can be done, uh, people from various different backgrounds who've come through barriers whether it's in women's sport, whether it's through being from a certain ethnic minority background, uh, racism, amputee, um, a, a girl from uh, Bilbao who's deaf as well. So loads of different barriers uh, that people have overcome to play at the highest level and inspirational stories for the young generation out there to get involved in football. And in terms of an Irish inspirational story, Stephanie Roach, you couldn't get any better. Yeah, and no, it was great and it was brilliant to have uh, Stephanie here at the photo shoot and launch today as well. Uh, and her story's obviously been fantastic, the inspiration uh, for women's football, not only in Ireland, but I think uh, across Europe and across the world with uh, when she was nominated for the, the Puskas Award that time as well. So it's certainly shown that uh, the girls can compete at the highest level with the boys in world football as well. So uh, it's a fantastic story and, and certainly one that will hopefully inspire future generations of, of girls to get involved in football. And for any primary schools who want to get involved, what do they do? So the primary schools just need to go to fai.ie forward slash no barriers to register for the programme. Uh, when they do, we'll post them out a copy of the pack or the resources for their classroom. And we'll also send the teachers the digital resources as well that they can uh, get involved in the classroom with the children, interactive resources where they can all get involved, learn about the different host cities and learn about some of the icons and the barriers and uh, hopefully have fun learning and being educated with football as a medium to do so.